afternoon and welcome to another American Wireless Alarm how-to video. Today we're going to be covering a very quick tutorial on adding a device to an NVMS 7000 client software on your PC or Mac. To get started, let's go ahead and launch the NVMS 7000 client software. This will take just a few moments because it is a large program. And here we go. So, when I loaded mine, it pops up with the multiplex screen. This may or may not be the case, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go from the main view. This is what we call the main view, and you'll notice there's no devices on here as far as camera list. I'm going to go to the control panel, and we're going to go down here under maintenance and management to device management. Click on that. And you want to make sure that on your uh, tabs here, you're on the device tab and not on the group tab. Your screen will look different if you're on the group tab. Click on that and just a little less going on up here. I'm going to click on device because we're going to add a device. And uh, so that should be highlighted in red. Under device for management, I'm going to go ahead and click on the add tab. Pop-up uh, box shows up here with the information I need to fill in. It will default as IP domain, and this is true if we're adding a wide area network IP address, local area network IP address, or a DDNS server. Uh, so for the first portion, nickname, no wrong answer here, just put in whatever you want to use to identify this particular device as. Hit the tab key, I'm going to put in the address myself, I use a DDNS server cheaper than paying for a uh, static IP. And if you have an IP address where the um, IP address changes randomly because it is a dynamic and not a static, we do offer a DDNS service. We'll set it up for you. You pay a small labor charge for us to set it up and we host that for $99 per year, much cheaper than a uh, static IP address. Username typically admin, and then the password for logging into your uh, DVR. And then you want to make sure you have export to group box checked off, and then I'm going to click on the add down here. Uh, I should see this net status go green in just a moment. And importing succeeded, so everything should be fine on that DVR. I'm going to go ahead and go to the main view. It has populated, so now I do have one device listed. And to populate the cameras onto the multiplex screen, I can either A, drag one camera at a time into each box as I choose, or B, I can just drag the whole folder into the very first box and it will just populate all of those screens. And that is it. If this video was helpful and uh, you find the uh, videos we produce useful, give us a like, subscribe, and if you want to get in touch with us regarding a DDNS server for your DVR, feel free to do so. You can also call us at 1-800-521. 1511. Thank you and have a great day.